Buongiorno. Today we're making spaghetti bolognese. Other than the pizza, this has to be one of the most well-known Italian dish. And it's really easy to make and absolutely delicious. Here is my version of this classic Italian dish. First bring a pot of water up to rapid boil with a handful of salt. Remember the water must taste like the Mediterranean Sea. To this add your spaghetti, about 60 grams per person. Make sure the pasta is well submerged into the water and do not leave it until every pasta is in the pot. Once the pasta is cooked, drain it and set it aside. Make sure you reserve one cup of the pasta water for use later. Chop one large onion, four to five pips of garlic, I added a lot more, and one whole carrot. You can add celery if you want. Chop it really fine or pulse it in your food processor. In a skillet or a heavy bottom pan, add three to four tablespoons of olive oil. Once the oil is hot, add in your chopped vegetables. Stir fry this gently until the water evaporates. Stir it gently on medium heat until the wonderful aroma of the frying vegetables come out. Continue cooking and simmering for another 3 to 4 minutes. Now add 1 teaspoon of salt. And continue frying for another two minutes. Once your vegetables have achieved a deep color, it's now time to add in your minced meat. I'm using 500 grams of minced chicken breast. You can use minced lamb or beef or even turkey. For vegetarian version, you can put in mixed vegetables. Stir it gently on medium heat, make sure the bottom doesn't stick. Stir it until the water evaporates and the chicken starts to turn slightly brown. Make sure you stir it often so the minced meat doesn't clump up. Once all the meat has turned a pale brown, now it's time to add your tomato puree. This is about 4 to 5 tablespoons of tomato puree. To this add 2 chopped ripe tomatoes. To this add 1 tablespoon of dry Italian herb. I prefer to use dry herbs because it's richer and deeper in taste. Okay, one tablespoon was enough. I added another tablespoon and a handful of dried parsley. Now add another teaspoon of salt. Now mix everything gently until all is well combined. I prefer to keep this alcohol free, so I'm adding in one cup of chicken stock. You can add in a cup of red wine if you wish to. After adding in the stock, if the sauce is not a deep red, add in a little bit more tomato puree. Stir it in and let it simmer for about 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, now add in your reserved pasta water. Mix it gently and let it cook covered for about 3 to 4 minutes. Stir it gently from time to time and you will see the oil will start to float. That's when you know your pasta sauce is almost done. Cover it and cook it for another 3 minutes. Take a dipping spoon, 
taste for salt and everything else. You can add a bit of brown sugar to cut down the acidity from the tomato puree. This will further deepen the tomato taste. Give it one last stir and it's ready to be served. Serve your freshly cooked bolognese sauce over your cooked spaghetti. To this add a good shaving of good parmesan cheese and your meal is ready to be served. A big mouthful is the way to eat this pasta. Ooh, yummy! Buon appetito! This recipe is brought to you by Hearty Meals Home Cooked.